Today, I'll be making a short presentation about stubs. My objective today is to explain the um, organelle functions, um, what type of cells they're in, and how it relates to protein. Uh, I'll also be creating an analogy for the cells and how they relate to cars. Let's jump into it. So first we'll be explaining the functions of each organelle. Uh, the first is nucleus, and a nucleus is responsible for coordinating uh, important cell activities and stores DNA. And it's this one right here, the purple. Um, and it and it is in a prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, um, and it relates to protein because it contains DNA, which is the code for making protein. Next is cell membrane, uh, which is this one, uh, this black line around the cell. Um, it separates the interior of all cells from outside environment. And they're in eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Um, and the cell membrane aids protein by providing protection to the cell. Uh, protein is also found in the cell membrane as it aids in cell transport. Uh, next is the Golgi bodies, and this is the Golgi bodies. Um, and the function of it is to help package and uh, helps process and package proteins and lipid molecules. They are found in eukaryotic cells and it reshapes the protein, giving it a specific protein. Uh, next is cytoplasm, which is this brown area. Um, and it acts as storage space for the chemical building blocks of the cell. And they're found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. And it uh, relates to protein by because it allows for the movement of protein and keeps some in place. Next is vesicle, and this this is the vesicle, um, and it helps transport materials that an organism needs to survive and recycle waste. Uh, prokaryotic, or they are found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, and they and the they relate to protein by transporting protein in and out of the cell. Next is rough ER. It's this one right here, the brown with the red on it. Um, and the function of it is that it transports molecules back and forth from the nucleus, but it is also responsible for creating and packaging proteins. Uh, they're found in eukaryotic cells and they relate to protein because they aid in protein protection by housing, housing the proteins. Um, next is ribosomes, this one right here. Um, and ribosomes synthesize proteins and they're found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and they relate to protein because they make proteins. Uh, cell wall, uh, this one right here this area around the plant cell uh, it surrounds the plasma membrane of plant cells and provides tensile strength and protection against mechanical and osmotic uh, strength uh, they are found in prokaryotic cells and and uh, it relates to protein because it protects the cell and uses protein for transporting molecules uh, vacuole, which is this, this little one in animal cells, and it's also this big one in the plant cell. And in animal cells, vacuoles are small and help sequester waste products, and in plant cells that help maintain a water balance found in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, and yeah. Um, Lysosomes are next. Uh, I 
this with a lot of people on my hit. Wait. No, it's Clarifax. Um. Why is this? Oh, this is the why is on my hit. Um, and it is the digestive system of the cell, and they're found in uh, eukaryotic cells, and it and it relates to protein by because it contains digestive enzymes that will dispose of malfunctioning proteins. Um, next is a uh, cytoskeleton, skeleton, and it's these uh, three little lines um and it is a structure that helps maintain the shape and internal organizer in the cell and they're both found in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and it relates to protein because it provides structure to the cell and proteins use cell skeleton to move around the cell uh, mitochondria is next it's this one right here Um, and this is the powerhouse of the cell, and it generates most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biomedical reactions. They're found in eukaryotic cells, and um, and it relates to protein because it provides energy in the form of ATP that powers the production of protein and powers and powers the protein itself. And last is chloroplast. This is the chloroplast. Um, it is mainly responsible for production and metabolism of lipids. And they're found in eukaryotic cells. And it, and it relates to protein because it makes lipids which can be turned into vesicles that, that, make, that move proteins. And now I'll be... Uh, talking about my uh, analogy and uh, my analogy will be a, a, a car analogy so each of these organelles will uh, represent a important car part in a car uh, so we start an animal cell uh, the nucleus would be the driver of the car because they control the car just like the nucleus controls the cell like all the cell activities and things like that. Uh, cell membrane is the is like doors on the car, so it separates uh, the interior from the outside environment. Um, mitochondria is like a car engine. It gives the motor energy, so it can run like the mitochondria and produces energy for the cell. Uh, a vacuole is like a gas tank, and it stores water like how a gas tank stores fuel. Smooth ER is just like an exhaust of a car. It can take out the waste in the cell and removes harmful chemicals. Ribosomes are like the gasoline in the, in, in the car. And ribosomes produce proteins like gas produces energy to make the car move. Cytoplasm is like a car's hood because they both uh, hold and protect organelles or engine to make it run smoother. A rough ER transports and receives proteins. They're like cars because the gas runs, or no, they're like pipes because the gas runs through the car so it can keep going. And then that's all for that one. And then next is Golgi bodies. So it it's, is like the fuel pump on a car. It pushes the fuel to the carburetor, like the Golgi bodies push and sends the package to the cell. Um, cell wall in a, in a plant cell is like the frame of a car and the frame supports the car as well as the cell wall supports the plant cell. A chloroplast is like the compression stroke in a car engine uh, and it's like chloroplast converting solar energy into chemical energy. And vesicles are like the wheels and axes on the, on the car because they both transport objects to a certain destination. Lysosomes are also like an exhaust system on a car because it removes waste, wasted and unwanted gas from the car and lysosomes remove unwanted waste that is broken down. And cytoskeleton is the metal frame of a car. 
is similar to a cell, like it provides structure and support to the cell. And then my conclusion. So in this video, I explained all the organelle functions, uh, relation of proteins, and an analogy about a car. Uh, each organelle represents a certain car part or an, or an important car part. And if one part uh, slash organelle uh, doesn't work properly, then it messes up the whole uh, system. And yeah, so this is the end of my presentation. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.